Hi guys, welcome to another amazing episode of Real Nollywood, your favorite movie show on television. My name is Adan Naonye Curry, your favorite Golden Magic piece. And of course, we're here at the movie premiere of the movie Omani You. Now we go around, right, talking about everything that happens to the week, finding out what's up with your favorite celebration, and of course, catching people at movie premiere. So today we caught up with everybody at Omani You, meaning children are as precious as coral beads. Guys, let's go catch what Real Nollywood has in store for us this week. Let's go, people. Jumi Oshida, dear Oshida. Miki now. I'm not your dad. But you're my mommy's husband. Started to rape. You won't be. Rape? To me, all money, all money there. That means children, I mean child, they are very, very important. Your parents will be so proud of you right now. Is that not so? So that's the purpose and the meaning of all money. Oh, so. so tell me, have you seen anything about the movie trailer? The trailer. And I apart from that, you know, that Yamusa is so wonderful. That Musa is a great producer in the industry and this is not a first time in the cinema so I'm, I'm expecting something big from her today you know definitely, we definitely can no way for that so now tell me yeah the movie what character do you take play in the movie um i play the character of um, a disadvantaged teenager teenager 13 year old so that's a teenager right 13 year old still i played disadvantaged teenager who was um, molested by her uh, stepfather, someone she trusted so much. So through the rape she contacted HIV, she got pregnant and um, she had a mother that, or she has a mom, I shouldn't say past tense, but of course a mother that doesn't pay so much attention to her. She's more concerned about keeping her married to Prince Shodeke, the stepfather, so she didn't give so much attention to the child. Because of that, she had to confide in her best friend, you know, who, who, whom led her astray. You know, she gave her abortion pill, there, were, there was complications. She found out that she was HIV positive, or she's HIV positive. So, she committed suicide. So, basically, that's the character of Fiyifolu. Very sad character. Yeah, I am so sorry. Like, seriously. Like, just hearing it from her, I haven't even watched the movie. And, you know, it's a, it's a fictional piece. So, but then just hearing about the story from her, it's very touching. And it seems like a movie that will take you through different emotions in one sitting. So how was it like playing that, manipulating that role? <laughs> First of all, I, you know, I digested the script. I read about it. Then I was able to, you know, get into character. It was majorly about reading the script and digesting it and knowing who Finfolu is and what she's going through. Children, your girl child. Now, as a, as, as, as a mother, you have a whole lot to do when you have a girl as a child. You need to give them your 100% attention because you should be their best friend. You should be the only person they will run to for advice and, and comfort. And if you are not there to give it to them, they might just get somewhere else and get, get it from someone else and it might end up being a disaster because you are not there to give them the attention. So this movie basically is talking about mother being able to, you know, mothers should be available for their female daughter, for their female child at every time. No, if, no, no, how, how do I put it? Whatever they have to say is your duty to pay attention to. Even their body languages matters a lot. Because as they grow, as they grow, they have stages. As they grow, they, they, you should notice the changes in them. Make sure you know the kind of friend they move with. What they do on a daily basis should be your paramount, you know, uh, should be should be more important to you. What, what hairstyle did they used to call this one? <laughs> I don't know. I want to say Kiko. Olden days hairstyle. <laughs> hmm. Okay. 
Oh, okay. And then we're here today, the movie on Money. What character did you play? I was Sarah, a friend to Finn Folu. <laughs> a nasty, naughty, silly, and wayward child in the movie. <laughs> How was that character like though? How were you able to manipulate it? Was, when you read it, were you like, oh, this is exactly my type of person. Let me go and kill it. Well, I, I happen to be a very gentle person. I really don't talk, but as an actor, you have to do it. Even ones that are not convenient, you just have to do it. So this one was very easy for you to carry on? It was not really easy because <laughs> that waywardness, I, I had to just. Uh, it was not really easy anyway. <laughs> Trying to be a bit child winning. I mean, just, I, I just like. Right, now I know why it was making me smile. Flavor song. <laughs> with the. I think it's flavor, yeah. yeah. With the um, we, we believe. That song, you know. I'll be ugly, I'll be ugly. But then we're here for this movie titled All Money New. Amazing stuff from Antidio, yeah. Yeah, 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 actually, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, partially on my uh, my friend's phone. Yeah. So what, what, what are your thoughts? What do you think about it? Actually, the trailer made me to come here to watch the movie. I can't really wait to see the movie, but coming from Antidio, you can expect nothing less than fun. A good movie, yeah. Very fine, thank you. Oh, you are looking amazing as well. So are we, did we style ourselves today or are we wearing somebody? Um, by somebody? We're wearing somebody and... Um, of course, they said the 70s, so my stylist came up with this. Amazing Wonderful. <laughs> mm. You know, I feel like I'm putting something, putting on something in the 50s. <laughs> but then amazing stuff on Omoni You. So when you allow us, ladies and gentlemen, now how was it like? What character did you take there? Um, I played Mama Finyi. Mama Finyi was... Um, well, I, I think she was a selfish woman and she wasn't attentive to the cries of her child. And we all know what the storyline is. It's set around um, uh, the ills and wrongs that had been done to the young girl called Fini Folua. And um, it's a very interesting movie, extremely interesting. Um, well, I think a lot of people will learn so much from it. If possible, they will shed some tears. I mean, hearing about the movie, it seems like a movie that will take you through several emotions Emotional, on one yes. seating. Yes. So when you saw the script, what came to mind? Um, what came to my mind first was Dayo has come again. No. You know, she's a very sensitive person and uh, most of her stories are very deep. So I loved the character immediately and um, I'm pleased that I took part in the money. Come to the cinemas, why should I want to see the movie? <laughs> You want to see the movie because it's intriguing, it's interesting, it's educative, and um, it's old school. <laughs> so we're good. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Again, the 70s. Yeah. Amazing stuff. I'm falling in love with it. It's amazing. It's amazing. But then here, supporting her friends and his sister, tell us a little bit. Omonio, have you seen the trailer or anything about it? I've seen the trailer on social media. Diamusa is doing a wonderful job. We've been reposting and reposting, screaming, shouting, telling people that you all need to see Omoni You by our fantastic actor, Diamusa. And that is why I'm here this evening to give her total support. And um, one thing I love about Omoni New is because it's not a contemporary movie. It talks about the oldies, the outfit, the costume. Mm, I give it to her. I don't really know much about the story yet. We all here to see it, but I think it is or it will be a great movie. It's so amazing stuff. Is this 1970s related? Yes, it is. For real? Yes. So you just had to come more stylish about yeah, it. 1970 and a bit of. 2020, the future, okay. the past and the future. <laughs> Amazing stuff, that is just a wonderful combination. But then tell us, yeah, all morning new. Tell me, have you seen the trailer or anything about it? Yes, I've seen the trailer and um, I've been seeing the BTS pictures right from when they were shooting. And um, I'm expecting nothing less because, I mean, um, we all know Antidari Amosa to be someone to be an amazing um, writer and producer right from days of um, Unforgivable 
um, to pathetic and so many. So I'm expecting nothing less, and I, I'm sure that's what I'm going to get tonight. Oh, you look absolutely camera ready, like amazing stuff here. Old school. So, who are we wearing? What are we wearing here? <laughs> okay, okay. So, do we style ourselves? Who are we wearing? What are we wearing? Um, I'm, wearing I'm wearing, actually, I'm wearing uh, Angel Styling. And um, she kind of puts all this together. And the hair. It's amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And then the movie Omoniyu. Tell us a little bit about this journey. Um, Omoniyu uh, is a story of a community nurse uh, and a love for uh, a fiance Fijabi, who is a journalist and then who has an ish with this traditional prince. Uh, who believes he can actually get away with a whole lot of things without being questioned, of course. And then with the fate of this young minor who has been abused and been molested along the line. Um, it, it, it talks about um, domestic violence, it talks about um, parental negligence, it talks about um, child molestation and, you know, things related to it. Wow, amazing. So, and what was the inspiration for this one? Why pick Omoni you as the story to produce now? Why? Why Omoni? Uh, when I saw the synopsis of the movie, um, of the story, basically, was written by uh, Dayo Fariri, and we told me, I said, I have the story, and I got to, you know, read the synopsis, I'm like, oh, wow, this is, this is something that really needs, you know, to be talked about. It's, it kind of touches me in a way whereby we get to see some parents and um, guidance kind of, you know, being not too attentive and not really paying attention to their kids, not because they cannot, maybe basically because of work or one or two things, and then... Along the line, it kind of cost such children, you know, a whole lot of things to handle. So I just felt the need of, okay, I think we, there is a way we can advocate some, you know, some truth into ourselves by this, by producing the movie. Tell us, though, Omo Nenyu and that character. What character do you play? I played Omo Nenyu, but the very best friend of Omo Nenyu in the movie. And how was it like manipulating that character? Oh my God, you need to see Omo Nenyu, but she is very, very tough. She's a no nonsense, and she fights for every girl child and there is a particular girl child that is so dear to our heart dear to omoni's heart and whatever is close to omoni's heart is equally close to omodenbo's heart and that's why i had to stick by her all the way through i mean seeing the movie it's, it's a movie that takes you through several emotions on one sitting mm -hmm. so how was it like seeing the script when you saw the script for the first time what what caught you okay when and uh, told me i laughed because usually it's like this is uh, when your boss says, I'm going to my day, like it's not what I know how to do best, you know, so and I loved it. And the fact that it's relative, you know, you can relate it to the present day Nigeria, what is going on, how we're trying to fight child abuse, domestic violence, and all of these thoughts. So I thought, okay, yes, this is what I need to be on, put in all the best, and we're able to put it through. So why should I come to the cinema to see this? Money is what the watch. You have to come to the cinema to see this movie because I tell you what, a lot of us just know that you know there are ways to these stuffs that happen even in our homes, in our society. We don't know how to go about correcting the ills. But when you see your money, the approach, the drastic measure that we took to expose all this bad attitude, then you know that man. So this man that has been doing this rubbish, then it's time to talk about it. So you guys need to see your money. You just have to watch it. Children are a special gift from God, meant to be protected, meant to be nurtured. The future of our generation. But when evil pervades a system, law and order takes a back seat.